Hello, my lovelies. Today, we are doing a bun that uh, my friend Kirsten taught me how to do. This is the bun that she does when she needs to get her hair up and out of the way quickly, has nothing to pin it down with, and it'll hold. Um, it is a pinless bun. So um, the Nautilus is a pinless bun, and for some of you, it totally holds without a stick. It holds less so for me. This one will hold. I mean, it's not gonna hold up to strenuous activity, but cooking dinner, um, you just need it out of the way for you working with your hands and you don't want your hair hanging down, it works. Um, she calls it the Lotus Knot Bun, so I'm going to call it the Lotus Knot Bun because she made it, so that's what we're calling it. Um, it begins much like the Nautilus, um, with a pony. However, as you guys know, when I start a Nautilus, I use my whole hands. I can't. Um, I will go over the thickness to length ratio once the bun is done, just for the simple fact that I know you guys like to see it, and then we can discuss. So, usually at this point, I would take my hand, put it underneath, and pull the loop out. I can't use all my fingers. I can only use two. So, just like normal Nautilus, we go like this. I go ahead and put my thumbs through. This is all the bigger this loop is going to be. Rest of our hair, we're going to pull up here, grasp with our fingers, make another loop. Do not pull all the way through. Okay. Now, our tail is going to wind and then wind it around the base of our bun. Um, you do want to wind this fairly tight. Now, the loop that we have up here, we need to spread that over the entire bun. And then just shove the bun through this loop. There we go. And we're up. And it will hold. Let me look. Let me see how pretty it looks. Hers always looks really beautiful. Not bad. Not bad. Not as pretty as hers, I have to say, but it still holds. Now, I'm not going to shake my head super hard because there are no pins, but you can see it's still holding. Usually, if I do this with the Nautilus, it's, it's fallen already. So, I mean, actually, it's a little more vigorous. See, it will stay. If you need it out of the way immediately because you're doing something, this one will work. If you do want it to be stable, however, um, like super stable, you can put a pin in it. I'm just going to throw one in the side here. And the really nice thing is it is a one stick bun because it will stay by itself. But the pin is just there, you know, for added security if you so desire. Um, this is a good bun. Okay. Now. The discussion of thickness versus length. So, if your hair is my length, um, I am currently at 47, 48, 49 inches, I'm not sure, around that area. I'm a classic length. Um, and you see I had to use two fingers to do this bun. Um, if your hair is my length and my thickness, you see it works fine. If your hair is shorter than mine, but thinner than mine, it will also work. If it's shorter than mine, but thicker than mine, it's probably not going to work. Um, if your hair is longer than mine, you're not really going to have any problems. Um, even if it's longer and thicker, I still don't think you're going to have any problems. If you do it my way, you might even be able to use your whole hand. I'm not sure. Um, but the only people this is not going to work on, for the most part, is shorter and thicker. Or my length and thicker. You might have to fiddle with it a little bit. Um, but, you know, if, if your hair, if you were more fine hair than I am, you should be gravy. Um, however, if um, you just say want a half up, then most of you should be able to do this as a half up. So... That's always nice, you know, if you just want to get the front back. <laughs> so, 
So any hoodles, that is our bun for today, our pinless bun. I do have a pin in it, but it doesn't need it. It will still stay, um, which is groovy. Uh, so many of the pinless buns I have outgrown, and this one is one that I can actually grow into if I let it get much longer. I'm actually pretty much due for a trim. But uh, if I did want to get it longer, this is a bun that I could grow into, uh, which does not happen very often for me. I usually outgrow hairstyles. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know if you try it, how it feels. It is comfortable uh, with no pins. It's comfortable with pin, but it's comfortable with no pins. Um, it feels a little weird because it doesn't have a pin just because I'm so used to feeling some sort of pressure against my head from a stick or a clip or something so that's a little odd um, but it doesn't hurt it's just a different sensation um, and by all means if you do this send me pictures um, you guys know I love pictures you guys have been doing good I've gotten quite a few uh, travel cleft pictures in already and y'all are doing a much better job than I did <laughs> which just makes me happy okay I will see you tomorrow until then have a great day I love you guys bye